In this video, I will explain how to set up Ledger Live, go over its user interface, show you how to install apps, and add accounts. If you haven't set up your Ledger device yet, please watch the previous videos that explain how to set up the Ledger Nano S Plus and the Ledger Nano X. First, we need to download and install Ledger Live. Go to the Ledger website and from the App and Services menu, choose Ledger Live. You can now download it based on your computer's operating system. For the mobile version, I will create a separate video, so remember to follow the channel to not miss the next videos. Remember, your computer must meet the minimum technical specifications to run and use Ledger Live. If you are a Windows user, it should be at least Windows 10. If you are a Mac user, it should be at least macOS version 10.15. If you are a Linux user, it should be at least Ubuntu 20.04. I downloaded the Windows version of Ledger Live from here and opened the X file. You can choose the destination folder, click on Install, check the Run Ledger Live option, and then click on Finish. Now, Ledger Live is running and you can see the welcome screen. Click on Get Started. Choose your device. I choose the Ledger Nano X and then click Select. Now, connect your device to the computer and enter your PIN code. Since your device is already fully set up with a recovery phrase, choose Connect Your Device under Already Have a Recovery Phrase. In the Genuine Check, click on Check My Nano to verify that your device is a genuine Ledger device. Remember, only a genuine Ledger device can pass this step. Now, Ledger Live asks you to allow a secure connection by your device. Press both buttons on your device. If your device is genuine, you will see the message, All Good. Click on Continue. Now you see the Ledger Recovery page, which I will cover in a future video. If you haven't subscribed yet, simply close it by clicking on the Close button at the top right of the page. Now your Ledger Live is set up, and here, I'll briefly explain its user interface. On the left, you can see the menu, which includes the main tools for different operations. Let's start from the top. In the Portfolio section, you can see the summary of your accounts. Since we haven't added any accounts yet, you'll only see the Add Account button here. I'll revisit this tab later after adding accounts. The second tab is Market, where you can explore and track real-time crypto prices and trends. For example, you can see Bitcoin, which is possible to buy and swap in Ledger Live. You'll find its real-time price, percentage change in price over 24 hours, market cap, and changes over the past 7 days. You can also add it to your favorites by clicking on the star icon. Additionally, you can search for specific cryptocurrencies. For example, if I want to know about Arbitrum, I can type Arbitrum here. Here it is it seems that we cannot buy it from Ledger Live. However, in another video, I will explain the options we have to buy different cryptocurrencies in Ledger Live. Since I like it, I'll add it to my favorites. If I want to see only my favorite cryptocurrencies, I just need to click on the star icon at the top, and now Ledger Live will show me only my favorite cryptocurrencies. The next tab is Account, which is currently inactive because I haven't added any accounts yet. The Discover tab includes different dApps that are integrated into Ledger Live, allowing you to use them for various purposes such as buying, selling, swapping, staking, and more. The next two menus are Send and Receive, which are currently deactivated since we don't have any accounts set up yet. The Earn tab is a new feature of Ledger Live for staking. The Buy and Sell tabs, as their name suggests, are for buying and selling cryptocurrencies. If you invite your friends to buy Ledger products, both you and your friend can earn rewards. I'll create a separate video to explain how to claim this reward. The Card menu is for users who have a CL card, while the Ledger Recover tab is for subscribed users. The last menu is the My Ledger tab, where you can manage your device. At the top of Ledger Live, you can see four icons. The first one from the left is the Information Center, where you can view news and notifications. The second one is the Toggle Discrete Mode, which allows you to hide your balances. The Help icon is where you can access help from Ledger resources, and the Settings icon is for adjusting preferences. 
Now that you're familiar with Ledger Live, let's move on to installing apps and adding accounts. But before we do that, let's understand what apps and accounts are in Ledger Live. To manage each crypto asset, you need to install its corresponding app on your Ledger wallet. These apps allow your Ledger device to utilize its private key for the specific blockchain network of the crypto asset, enabling you to receive and send that particular crypto asset. To install an app for each network or blockchain, unlock your device and navigate to the My Ledger tab. Here, at the top, you can see the name of your device, which you can also change, the OS version and the storage of your device. In the app catalog, you can search for the coin for which you want to install its network app, or you can scroll down the list. For example, if I want to install the Bitcoin app, I simply click on the Install button next to it. The installation process begins, and once it's done, Ledger Live will show an installed message. After installing our apps, the next step is to add accounts. In Ledger Live, accounts are added for coins, and tokens are shown under their parent network. To add the first account, go to the Portfolio tab and click on the Add Account button. Then choose the crypto asset you want to add. For example, I'll choose Bitcoin. Before clicking on the Continue button, unlock your device and open the Bitcoin app on your Ledger device. To do that, select the Bitcoin icon on your Ledger device and press both buttons. Now click on Continue and wait for Ledger Live to connect to your device. Here, you can see your Bitcoin One account. I'll change its name to Bitcoin, then click on the Add Account button, and finally, click on Done. Now you can see the portfolio has changed and shows a zero balance because I do not have any Bitcoin. On the right side, it displays the top five gainers and losers in crypto. Next, go to the Account tab, and you'll see that Bitcoin has been added here. I also want to add an Ethereum account, so I click on Add Account, choose Ethereum from the list, and click Continue. Now, Ledger Live asks me to open the Ethereum app on my device. I simply press both buttons, and now it shows me two accounts. Since I have some tokens in my Ethereum account, Ledger Live allows me to add the second one. But as I do not need it now, I choose Add Existing Account, then click on Add Account, and finally, click on Done. Now you can see that the Ethereum account has been added and its balance is zero. However, if I click on Show Tokens, it displays Chainlink and USDT, which are tokens under the Ethereum network. If I go back to the portfolio, you can now see that Ledger Live displays a graph of my accounts, which can be managed from one day to one year. If you scroll down, you'll find the Asset Allocation section, which provides a summary of my assets, including the percentage allocated to each asset, the amount, and its counter value. You can also view the latest transactions I've had in my Ledger accounts. You can click on them to see the transaction history or even click on View Explorer to see it on Etherscan. I believe we've covered the basics for now, but there are numerous features left unexplored. Don't forget to hit the like button if you found the video helpful. Your support is greatly appreciated. Thank you.